Big data is certainly not new, and that's one of the reasons why you probably sit with a lot of information in your repository in the cloud or on-premise, right? Yeah, and that's why uh, the question that we all should ask ourselves is, are we making the most uh, out of all this data, especially at the speed that the market is today? Are we getting the most return on investment from this amount of data? Exactly, that's a good question. And there's a number of uh, things that we can do with uh, this data. You have your normal business intelligence, predictive analytics, internet of things, and all of this can create a different uh, decision automation and uh, output that can bring a lot uh, of value to the company. The the problem is more and more data, faster, faster and faster data, everything requires more power. So the speed at which the data gets processed and gets information to you is key. The 9th of May, EOH is organizing in Johannesburg one of those mega conferences all about fast data, everything that we just spoke about. So what better occasion than interviewing Rob Godlington, the CEO of EOH ICT. Have a look. Rob, thank you very much for having me and have this uh, little chat. Uh, I was uh, last year at uh, the OH Connect and it was impressed. Uh, there was so many people. It was really world class. Uh, a lot of clients, but also a lot of interesting uh, uh, speeches. Um, this year, everything is about fast data. Tell me about that. Yeah, sure. And thank you very much for uh, attending last year. And uh, you know, hopefully, we'll, I'm sure we'll have the same kind of attendance and, and quality of uh, uh, information sharing to our, to our customers and, and that's what we're focusing on and as you said fast data you know it's all ab it's all about getting that data and making decisions on that data so hopefully by coming to uh, EOH Connect uh, on the 9th of May you'll get a real feel for how do we actually action on that data and make decisions so you know you've got so much data and, and all, um, all, all our customers have these challenges where they're collecting all this data but what do they actually do with that data and how do they execute on it and how do they make decisions uh, using that data. And, and what I like about the format of the conference is that, uh, for example, big data and predictive analytics, they are buzzwords now, but they are very theoretical. Instead, this kind of conference that you organize is really down to practical things that people can bring home and actually execute on it and get actually real results. Other buzzwords are digital transformation and adoption, and I think that's also part of what we're going to get from the conference, right? Yeah, 100%. So, um, you know, we, we're looking at the uh, digital revolution, which is a follow-on from last year where uh, we looked at where customers are looking in uh, and, and operating in what we call a dual speed world. So where they've got to keep the lights on of their current infrastructure and technologies, uh, but they've got to deliver digital uh, applications to drive additional revenue streams. And in the digital revolution, uh, as, we, as we're putting it out there, uh, more and more customers are going to be able to need to two things. One is get to that data sources and around the fast data, but again, using the digital apps, they're going to have to make decisions uh, and those applications are going to be able, uh, enable either their customers or their employees to make decisions using those digital apps. If you look at it now just from an internal employee perspective, um, most employees don't do their leave through a PC, they don't approve uh, purchase orders through a, a PC either. They're doing it on their phones, Absolutely. on a digital, either on a digital app or just through uh, email and workflow, but it's all on a mobile device. So we see a great opportunity of using that digital revolution for twofold. One is to create new revenue streams and secondly to drive out the efficiencies and make their businesses more cost effective using the technology that they have uh, in place as well. So we're also seeing a big focus on, okay, well, not you know, buying technology for the sake of buying technology, but how do, how do we actually solve business problems using the digital revolution or digital apps that we're building for our customers, utilizing the technology that they currently have in their, in their landscape. Um, and then also how do we look at new ways of actually uh, utilizing that, that technology and we're seeing what we've called multi-cloud and again it's another theme um, that we're pushing at uh, EOH Connect is uh, you know, getting customers to understand that you know, it's not only on-prem or only cloud, it's actually having a platform that has visibility of all the, um, all the applications, all the infrastructure, whether it's on-prem, in the cloud, it's giving this, the CIO uh, that comfort that he has the, the total visibility of his uh, IT landscape. Uh, and hopefully by uh, coming to EOH Connect, uh, our customers will get a better understanding of the digital application world through all the way through to that data and then having a look at the, what we call uh, multi-cloud, which is that ability to, to uh, execute 
across a, multiple, a multitude of platforms. Talking about the conference in conclusion, what are the, the, um, uh, the reason for people to come besides the one that we said? What, uh, what kind of people are we attracting with this conference? Yeah, so I think the, the most important for our customers and, and people that come to it is actually to understand that uh, from an UH perspective, we can help them uh, in this whole digital revolution. Uh, in the whole fast data space and then understand that you know uh, helping them through end-to-end -end offerings that we can deliver um, so you know they, they are we, we, the, the conference is made up of, of several tracks where they can get a, a, a deep understanding of one of the topics that we've touched on today um, and then the second part which is most is, is very important is uh, the sessions that follow on from the lead uh, sessions are the uh, panel interviews and actually hearing from customers what they're doing uh, along the themes that we're talking about. Um, and that ability to actually hear that there, there are customers that have you know, been through the challenges that, that, uh, that our customers do face in this digital revolution. And we're seeing our, you know, our, a lot of our customers now having chief digital officers, uh, either at the same level as the CEO um, on boards, because it's becoming such a, an important part of um, our customer strategy. So for them, it's going to be a great learning experience, networking, uh, uh, networking understanding what other customers are doing, exactly. and, and the challenges that face uh, all the customers, because it's, it's not straightforward keeping the lights on and taking a, uh, to going to this digital transformation. And then the other big challenge, is, uh, you know, just to end off around why we themed it fast data, is there is so much data, and it's, you know, how do we learn from others on what they've done with that data you know, to the, to the execu uh, executionals around, you've said, uh, around the business intelligence side of things, through all the way to, you know, where do I store this data? And how do I get this data back when I want to make decisions? Uh, and, you know, no customer uh, is having less and less data. They're having more and more data. So, you know, it's how do I, how do I actually get value out of that data? And I think customers will learn from uh, EOH Connect uh, from other customers, from our vendors, and then from ourselves on how they can uh, you know, get the best out of their data. It sounds really interesting. Looking forward to it. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, I'll see you at uh, Fast Data. Excellent. Thank, thank, you, very thank much. you, Rob. Thanks.